a federal judge ordered Maria Butina remain in jail while she awaits trial. The 29-year-old Russian national is charged with conspiracy and failing to register as a foreign agent. Prosecutors say Butina in infiltrated the NRA and other conservative groups in order to influence the 2016 presidential election. And they say she used sex and deception to forge influential connections. Our Peggy Fox was in the courtroom. There was so much interest in this hearing for this accused Russian spy that the courtroom was filled to capacity. They had to set up a second courtroom for those who didn't get in so they could just hear what was going on. But in the main courtroom where I was, we watched Maria Batina be brought out wearing an orange jumpsuit. Her hair was long and she was very serious throughout as she took notes. A very different image than what we've seen and heard about her. I am a representative of uh, Russian Federation here. Maria Butina is used to being in the public eye. Prosecutors say she's been here in the United States working as a covert agent as part of a years long conspiracy. She came to the U.S. on a student visa, but the government argues her legal status is predicated on deception and that she actually works for the Russian government. She was kind of loud, like a big personality. Butina did attend graduate school at American University and was in classes with Sierra Hicks. It was honestly just like mind boggling because some of my classmates and I had kind of talked about her being a Russian spy. Butina founded a gun rights organization in Russia and often mentioned it. She talked about guns quite a bit. Um, she would just say that she was a gun rights activist in Russia and that's one of the things that she did. In order to influence the 2016 elections, prosecutors say Butina infiltrated conservative organizations and the National Rifle Association. Three years ago, Butina questioned then-candidate Trump during a Freedom Festival in Las Vegas. Do you want to continue the politics of sanctions that are damaging of both economy, or you have any other ideas? I believe I would get along very nicely with Putin. I mean, one day we were talking about our experiences with TSA, and she said, oh, I got interrogated once. And they asked me if I was a Russian agent, and I said, of course not. I'm just here to go to school. Um, so I kept coming back to that moment because, I mean, obviously she was kind of working for the Russian government, or allegedly was.